Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how to install a water block from EKWB onto my GTX 1080 Ti Strix model graphics card. So stay tuned for more and let's jump right into it. the box we have a manual it's fully explained step by step we have a bag of thermal pads more than you need for this water block we have a little bag full of screws and accessories uh, next we have these two fittings uh, I didn't this didn't come with the block I purchased this separately and finally we have the block it's neatly wrapped in plastic and very well protected within the foam inside the box So as you can see I just installed the water block, it went quite smoothly, like really smooth and yeah it was it was really easy for just following this guide from EK, they have uh, quite a few extras so from, from these spaces they're like little plastic, almost rubbery, uh, if I can just show you here, if you can see there they kind of squish down so you don't over tighten them and yeah you get all this extra screws now I believe these extra ones is if you have the back plate from EK as well I do not I'll be trying to fix on the, the original one with the RGB logo so that's what I'll be doing next I 
So it's a few days later and I really wanted to show you this. So on the screen now is all the temperatures. So if you look to the top left, you can see that was the GPU temperatures on, on just the, the air, on normal um, the heatsink, on the normal as stock as it come out of the box. So we have the average at the top. So it was if you played uh, really demanding games that were or just hit the GP really hard with any workload or anything that was the temperatures if it is a warmer day it might be a bit different but yeah that was in my testing that was it the max was 68 and I never I never saw it went above that and then at idols it was around 25 and if you look at the at the top right you can see that's the CPU now the CPU was on was on alone on the loop uh, when the GPU was still on the, the stock heating and if you can, as you can see the the averages was between 47 to 49 and it never went above 49 it would stay around 47 go to 48 and then just max out of 49 it never went to 50 even. and then obviously the idols was 27 and if you look at the bottom half of the screen that is with the GPU and the CPU on the water cooling loop and it's quite astonishing the temperature difference. It's, it's 20 degrees cooler, um, more or less. If you get, if you look at the the averages, uh, yeah, it's between 18 and 20 uh, degrees cooler, which is it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the the maximum that I ever saw on it in my testing was 44 degrees. Now that's that's 24 degrees cooler than on the stock heatsink so that's just it's crazy and then the idle temperatures as well it's it's five five degrees cooler and if you look at the right side the cpu is a bit warmer but during my testing i i hit the gpu and cpu at max load throughout the whole test so that's why it's so high if i hit the cpu alone it would just be around 48 and 49 obviously as it was as before and the max is 52 but as again this was with the gpu also putting heat into the loop and the idols is actually quite a bit cooler and my theory for this is is that the, instead of the gpu just pushing hot air through my case and then going that hot air going through the radiator that's located in the top of my case it's just going through the loop and it's managing the heat dissipated by the loop just much better so that's my opinion on that uh, I don't see any other reason that could influence it so the second thing I wanted to show you is the clock speeds of the GPU so on the left hand side I have the clocks uh, the overclocks for my GPU and as you can see I could manage a, a total of plus 80 on the core clock and plus 500 on the memory clock and this was it was not 100% stable I would rarely get crashes but it wasn't often enough to bother me so I just left it and on the right side you can see uh, the overclocks I could manage it was plus 100 on the core clock and plus 600 on the memory clock and I haven't even had time to push it, uh, to push it any further or to see if I can overclock this graphics card any further and it does, has only been a few days but yeah, it's just unbelievable that uh, those 20 degrees that it's cooler now makes such a big improvement and I've specifically tested this uh, not not on camera now but I have tested this when it crashed with when it was on air and it didn't crash at all I had no weird glitches or anything it's just it's it's super stable now and I think in the future I I want to see how far I can go before it crashes 
so that's it all for today thank you everyone for watching if you liked the video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah just to stay tuned for future videos i will be doing another update uh, within the next few weeks on my computer there's some big plans i have for it so if you want to see that please stay tuned hit that bell icon as well so you get notified of any new videos thank you and have a lovely day